So today we want to talk about landscape sprinkler scheduling, and it's important to understand that your landscape is alive. That being said, it also takes care and constant attention, and you should understand that your sprinkler should be adjusted based on conditions with the weather, your home orientation, and seasonal changes. Additionally, it's important to understand whether or not your pressurized irrigation for the community is turned on or not, and typically they turn it on in the spring and turn it off in the fall based on a schedule. That being said, Berkeley Building Company cannot warranty these issues and monitor those changes throughout the year. So as the homeowner, it's your responsibility to maintain your landscape and monitor those conditions. So when maintaining your sprinkler schedule, you should get well acquainted with your timer. And in doing so, it's important to understand that there are several zones that come along with that timer. Program A runs the zones that monitor your sod. Program B maintains your, your drip line and your planter beds. So it's important to understand also that when your sprinkler system is set up initially by the landscaping contractor, they've set it up in the regards that it's based on new landscaping. And so it's important to change that time, whether or not the conditions change during the season. That being said, if your grass is too wet, turn the sprinkler time down a little bit. And if your grass is getting dry, just turn your sprinkler timer up a little bit. And a good way to assess the moisture level in your lawn is to use a shovel, just stick it in the ground, and then depending on whether or not the shovel goes into the ground easily will determine whether or not the grass is moist. If it goes in easily, the, the grass is pretty wet and it may even require you turning your sprinklers back a little bit. If it's too dry, then your shovel will have a hard time going into the ground. So there's several kinds of, of sprinkler heads in your, in your yard to maintain. The first kind is a pop-up sprinkler head. It sprays in one pattern on your lawn and it stays there consistently, therefore watering that area of lawn the whole time. A rotor or gear driven head pops up, sprays in an arc pattern, and then it waters a lot of area of your grass, but not consistently at the same time. That being said, gear driven heads require more time than your pop-up spray heads do. There's also drip lines in your planter beds, and those require more time than, than either of the two, but typically only come on once a day. Refer to the How to Water Trees and Shrubs video for more information about drip zones.